Hello, hello, hello. I'm a painter dog and welcome back to the next episode of our City Skylines Let's Play series, which is a vanilla series. I hope you're having a lovely day. My day is actually quite good, thing. So the last episode, if you can remember, we placed in this ferry depot and the bus line to get the people from the main city to our agricultural area. And uh, no, that episode might have been a bit boring because I added in, or I left in a couple of things, but some people like to see everything. I know I'm one of those people, I like to see everything. And, uh, yeah, but I, I won't necessarily do that every time. But for this episode, let's get out of this view. Let me show you, I did one thing off camera. I actually went ahead and I bought this tile down here. Because uh, we want to have a couple of residential buildings and such around this lake. I think that would look quite good. I might add in an interchange here just to help. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, and I moved the power stations more to this side. Eventually I want to, I might want to get rid of this, but for now I think that will be fine. If you don't know what my plan is, my plan is to buy Okay, these three tiles, so the three tiles on this side and the three tiles on that side. My main city, obviously, in there. Now, for this episode, if you can remember from the last episode, I tried upgrading this to a highway and caused major traffic issues here because I I think people were using this as a through fate from this highway to this highway. So they could skip all of this. Now, with that in mind, you can see how we're not doing too bad on our weekly income, but it can be a bit better. So, uh, I really want to add in a couple of toll booths on this. But, uh, I don't really want to add more issues on this existing road. So, I was thinking, let's add in a raised highway going from this side to this side. We can go from these areas here just a small off ramp and then we can continue onwards from there i think that me might be good but if you take a look here you can't raise this toll booth so we had to have to raise the the rain because we can get rid of these offshoots here but i think we it would be best if we we would were to leave it so uh let's get our our landscaping tool up and uh, let me just quickly show you what I want to do. I think that would be fine. Get that. And let's just bring that out a little bit. I think that would be fine. And let's get this pulled out a little bit, just a little bit. Let's see if our thing will fit on that. No, the booth won't fit on that. Let's extend this just a little bit. Now it will fit. Let's turn this thing around. Do something like that. This might be a little bit too close to this. Now that's a bit steep. So let's see if we can push this back just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Come on, turn around, turn around. That might be a little bit better. Now let's use the slope tool and uh, want it going from there. To there. That slope doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we can connect this. It's not the best looking slope, but it's something. Let's turn this around so long. 
The problem is now it goes from 4 to 1. So we might want to, to add in a two lane of changes to a two lane highway. But I think let's leave it like that. Can't leave it like that. That just looks so wrong in so many ways. But yeah, as I said, I'm not going to get do this for everything, show you all of it in all the time, but I think for now that it would be nice if you could see the basics of this. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side, get uh, the terrain leveled to this side, or to this uh, height, and uh, add in another tall booth on this side. There will be no on and off ramps from this highway into the city. It's just to, to give uh, traffic a way to basically cut the route a bit shorter than usual. I think that will that might help us in the long run, but we'll see. So let's get that and let's do something like that. Hopefully I, hopefully I left enough space. Something like that. So yeah, let me get this up and running. Mm, angle is not too bad. It might be a bit steep, but we'll see. But let me get this road in and I'll see you now. It is definitely not the most graceful looking roads out there ever created, but it, I think it will do its job. Uh, we have two lanes going up and two lanes going down, so that might cause some issues, but we'll see. Hopefully people will start using this and hopefully the toll booths won't cause too much trouble, otherwise I'll have to rezone or take them out completely, but I feel I supply a service here. Cut off some time of your journey, hopefully. Not a lot, but some, so hopefully we will get in a bit more cash. By doing this. So now the plan next step for this uh, playthrough let's quickly see get bus lines because at this stage if you take a look at our cash we only get let's say 100 simoleons from income and it costs us a thousand the same with the fairies. If we include a couple extra bus lines, I think both of these will be more profitable at the end of the day. So uh, I'm going to have a regional, not regional, regional, but I feel this is a neighborhood, this is a neighborhood, that, that, that. I'm going to have bus lines in each neighborhood and then one line going through all of these. I feel that might be the best thing to do. Let's have a quick peek at our directions of our, of our roads there's a one a one way there and there's a one way in there so at this stage not really a lot of issues so we can start with our bus line and the bus lines in each neighborhood will be a bit closer together I feel that's a way to go here now that is a dead end, so that's okay. We can have one in there. Then we can complete the line there. Just one bus line per neighborhood. I feel that's the way to go with this. And I'm not gonna have one going in a weird direction, of a opposite direction and all that. I feel that's a bit of a waste now. Just one in each neighbor and then one to connect everything up together. I'm going to make this uh, clockwise. I'm going to leave this one clockwise direction. I might have to take out that one. Because it might cause a couple of issues 
it is a bit of a backlog. But I don't think it will cause any issues, but we'll see. We'll see. I definitely want one going in around here. Stop at that ferry line. And then you go around here. This will be a little bit bigger. Let's take, uh, let's leave that one in. Now what? I'm going to take it on this side. Because I don't really want to have traffic uh, on these main types of roads. Okay. And then we have one, but this is basically to get people from here to there. So let's add in another line here. Going in around here. Hopefully this will help people to use this. I think that, will, that might be a good choice for us. Get them on the stop next to the barracks. Right there. And I want there to be some exchange between these lines. I feel that's a, a nice line on that side. And then we can have one bit of an interchange between these lines. Because this won't be the, the only lines of this won't be the only buildings in here we will expand we definitely will expand so why not add in a couple more lines you can add in other lines later on okay so now that's done so i went clockwise for this so let's go a bit counterclock counterclockwise for this one Hopefully we, we aren't making any mistakes now. But as I said, I don't really want to have lines crossing or stopping on one of, of on these areas. So with that in mind, let's uh, do something like this. I want some overlap. We don't need a lot of overlap, but we need some. Yeah, I think that will be a nice addition at the end of the day. Some overlap there. Let's get in here. Don't want them to stop at all the areas. I think that will be fine. Now this is a one way, so sadly we have to take this one. If you were to go in that route. Let's do something like this. Oh, that's a dead end. I don't really want to stop at dead ends. If we can help it. Okay, so there's a couple of extra bus lines in. We'll take a look later on if that has any... It already has an effect there. But we'll see later on. I think that will be a good thing. Policies, I don't know. I clicked on this because I want to make this automated toll booths. But this stage, uh, it doesn't want to open up that thing. High usage area, high usage, high usage. Okay, so that bit is now done. For our next trick, I'm gonna make this land, a barren piece of land disappear. No, 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 no. Just kidding. But I want to place something in here. And what would be a great thing to add in here? I think let's go ahead and get ourselves a zoo. I think a zoo would be quite nice. 
attraction in this area. We might want to add in a trolley bus or maybe a tram. I think a tram going through here might look quite good. I want to add in other, other types of roads as well. But we'll mess around with those later on. For now, let's use this road. I definitely want to get a pedestrian road. You know what? No, let's add in a bicycle lane. Bicycles might be able to travel through there. Let's get this thing up about there and then we can try and do something a bit smart not really smart but I like having these dead end roads for this let's get a zoo main gate congratulations we have a basics So do we want to add in a side gate? I think yes. Let's try and add in a side gate on this road as well. I think people can have an option to go to the zoo as well. I think that would be quite, quite lovely. You know, something like that. Let's take that off for now. So that's the huge gate. Let's get a small side gate going. And now we have all of these areas, all of these things to add in. So I want to add in this plaza. Five that way and five that way. I think a plaza in here. Oh, I need to be To get this going first. Yeah, there will be some overlap. Now I can get a bigger tool. And I'm going to extend this all the way to that road. And up to the highway. Yeah, something like that. Let's get this plaza in. So I'm quickly going to take some time, do a road layout for this area, and uh, I'll bring you back. And the basic layout for now is in. And uh, yeah, let's add in a couple of these custom parking lots that I created on that those roads we need to connect the electricity let's do something like that electricity will be connected now which is great let's go to these buildings let's add in a couple of restrooms that side and that side can add a souvenir shop next to it. I don't think it would be too bad. Let's get this running. Why don't I pause that the entire time? And then a couple of cafes. I think that would look quite good. We can add in a couple of benches on that side. But first, let's get our enclosures going. Let's add the birdhouse there. Antelope enclosure there. Yeah, that looks quite nice. And then a moose and reindeer. Okay, now it's giving me issues with that. So let's try something else, shall we? Let's do something like that. And now it will do that. Now we just change up this for a 
path, uh, zoo pathway. We'll work together, work together. That would be great. Work to work with us. Okay, there you go. Just need that little bit there. But now this is a bit troublesome. Don't tell me it wants that. Uh, our zoo district is all the way over there. But I don't really want to have it there. But it needs road access, so I can't really deny it. It's up to there. I feel that's quite enough now. We have three attractions. Let's add in a couple of benches. No normal benches, but table sets as well. And a couple of these signs. There, if we can. Come on. Oh, there's a small pixel there. There you go. Definitely need one of those. Okay. Now we need zoo ground tiles. Line it up as best we can. Now we can place these in. Great if they would if you had the option to snap them together as well. You don't have to eyeball it. Because let's face it, I'm bad at that. Now we can add in a couple of these picnic type benches. Just a couple. Hopefully this zoo will be visited quite a lot. Cooper Zoological Gardens. Let's make this. I'm gonna add animal. Let's make this the main park. And let's add in night tours and recycle garbage. Now let's take a quick peek at our expenses. See, income for the buses is a bit more. A bit more expenses, but. Hopefully people will be using this. There you go, now it works. I don't really want to go free public transport, but... We might have to look at these. Let's take... Okay, automated tolls, a population of 6,000. So we need that. Quite a lot of vehicles using our new highway. But that's okay. Traffic is down to 92% flow, but as you can see, it's only high traffic areas at this stage. Which isn't that bad. Cemeteries are fine. Yeah, that's still good. You might want to add in a couple of trees in here. And this is a zoo, so we can go huge trees if you want to. Because we always have weird trees in zoos. But that's a bit out of character, so I'm not gonna re really going to do something like that. That's a bit too big. Otherwise I have to make it a feature. 
you know, a path going around it and such. Add a couple of these ones in as well. And a bit of ground cover. That one doesn't look too too good there. And a couple of rocks. That's a bit too big. Oh, that's better. So what's needed to upgrade? Okay, entertainment is quite high. Our income is not too shabby. And we only need the visitors. Great. That will help us quite a lot. Vehicles are using our car parks, which is nice. We have a couple of people using that as well. Yeah, I think that looks and works quite well. So we definitely need to get this area going because we have loads of residential demand. And we need 6,000, and now our population is a bit stationary. But yeah, I think for now, this will be the end of this episode. While vehicles are using these roads in a way they're not supposed to. But hey, that's okay. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheerio.